So I just want to ask everybody, how many times have you loaded a mod, it starts messing up your game, and you don't know how to get it out without redoing your whole game? That's one of the probably most aggravating things about mods with LSPDFR is, is that you go to load your mod in, you pick one, and you say, okay, I want to load this one in. Then your game starts crashing. Didn't crash before. You pretty much know it was this that caused it. Everybody always tells you to make a backup. You always do. But it's always kind of confusing how to put these things in there to begin with. Like this one says, you know, open four and drop handling metadata into update common data. And you're like, okay, what the hell do they mean by that? You go in there, you think you figure it out. It's supposed to be under your mods section. <clears throat> so how do I get that handling data or metadata out there out of that? And uh, that's what this video is going to explain to you about is how to remove that because it gets aggravating when you do this um, and this one is a little bit more eh, more I would guess you could say uh, detailed but the problem is is that um, it doesn't tell you to go to your mods folder or anything like that and so people that are not familiar with mods they can mess up their stuff pretty bad but I want to show you how to, you can fix it I'm going to try to show you in a slow, methodical way. All right, so always remember, when you created your mods folder, you put update and the x64 and all the RPFs in your mods folder. You copied it over. should be the exact same thing was under your GTA 5. Um, you know, your update x64. So what you do is you look back at this and it says... So remember, your originals are not in your originals are here, not in your mods folder. So what you need to do to replace this is you go to this without going to your mods folder. Update, comma, and then data or data, whatever you want to call it. So we go to update, comma, data, and then what we're going to look for here. Let's see where it was. It boom. The wrong one. Go figure. There's 15 of these. What we're looking for here is hand, replacing the handling that was in this section. So we're not going to replace it. What we're we're replacing it with the original is which is what we just brought up. This right here is the original file. And so what I want to do. I don't really need that. Hold on. Let's just do away with that. What I want to do is I want to extract. I'm going to extract this. You can put it, what I suggest you do is you put it on, um, you build you a new, and always put Z folder, and uh, you extract that to your new folder. Okay, so that was the original. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to take that original. This is, guys, I know this is time consuming and crazy, but. This will get your game working a lot better than trying to reload it, taking two hours. You want to take your original and you want to look back at your README. Because this is one of the first things you did with this particular, this is realistic physics. Where did I put that realistic physics handling data or data at? All right, that was under a mods folder. Da, da, da. Okay, so I need to go there. All right, so what we do, let's go back. Let's go to your mods folder. Update, common, data. And so you got a handling right here. It's 767 kilobytes. This is the original. It's still a 767. Um, you're going to replace that. Hold on, what in the world is it saying? Okay, I see what it's saying. 
I did not go to my mods folder. My ah, mistake. Everybody should call me out on that. So you go to your mods folder and you'll go to your update update rpf comma data and look for your handler handling metadata as you can see it says 960 that's a bigger a bigger file that's the one we're going to replace back with the original the original file is over here so you do this i want to replace it with that I'm open now that's back to the normal. Now that doesn't solve all your problems. If you tried to run your program now like that, it would uh, still crash and probably cause more problems. So the example here I'm trying to show you is that was the first file I had uploaded to uh, my program when I was using this uh, mod, the real physics mod used to be really good but I think it's causing the crashes I got because I didn't have any crashes until I did this so I did that the next one was let's see, let's show you what you have here I had the burnout um, excuse me addition optional burnout 9.16 that's the one I had in there so when I would uh, take off my car wouldn't burn out tires um, so that was the one I had put in there. So we have fixed that. That was where that was put. Okay, additions. I had done these here uh, to make sure everything else was working right. And this is where it can get complicated for people that this is time consuming and it can be really tough to do. But uh, if you don't understand, the thing is you got to take steps and sometimes I think these guys when they write it they do great jobs with the mods but they don't do a very good job of describing to you where to put them and guys just have to learn by messing everything up or they never figure it out and get frustrated and never use it so what they mean when you when you're inserting a mod you do it in your mods folder and let's just do this in your mods folder so you would go to insert that we would go to mods um, update and see they, they go update RPF but heck you have to go to update to update RPF they don't even put that in there comma common uh, levels GTA 5 and then that's where the pop cycle of vehicles was put so, um, there's the one, and vehicles, there's the other. So what I want to show you is how to go back and replace these. These were the mod, put in the mod folders. You just, instead of going to the mods, you go to update. Update. Um, data. Levels. GTA 5. And then we're going to extract these, put them in our ZZ file. Uh, for the originals again remember this is not in our mods we're not getting the original the originals are under the GTA 5 folder and I'm sure everybody's confused by now so just hang tight I'm gonna make you even more confused a lot of clicking and flashing going on here so the handling we won't use but we're gonna keep it there anyway but let's minimize that we want our we want to extract that and it goes to the ZZ select folder and it's extracted and then vehicles extract it all right so those were my originals now we're going back to mods to replace the ones that we had updated with I ask where am I going? All right, so I did all that without saying a word. So let's go back to mods. I'm trying to fix an update I had done that has caused my machine to crash. So 
now that I've got the originals in a folder on my desktop I would follow the instructions like I was gonna put these in that so you're going to in the case that you're seeing me do I go to update RPF all right but I'm going to the mods part so I go to mods and when you look there is no update RPF and you're like where well, you have to click update then there's your RPF and then it would be common and then data or data however you want to say it levels GTA 5 and now I'm going to edit hit yes and I'm going to add new files and it'll be the pop cycles and vehicles those are the only two I'm adding okay those are added all right so as we added them we unclick we're done on that I also had added this when I was adding to my system and it's in a different place so we got to go back to mods the problem is I have not downloaded the original so let's go to updates RPF 64 levels GTA 5 and we're looking for the pop groups right here and extract it now remember this is the original it's going to the Z on my desktop all right so I want to show you something you would go back to your mods and go back to that location we'll do that in a second but just in case you're confused, you're like, well, I'm not sure if I'm at the right place or not. And you've got your um, stuff and you're like, okay, well, I want to add what I just took out. And you do this when you hit edit and you hit yes. If it comes up with these warnings, the mod folder, your archive that you're currently editing is not located in mods folder. You do not want to put anything in there. So you click oh, and figure out where you're at. So that way you can't change anything. So what did I do wrong? Well, as you can see, I did not go to the mods folder which is up there I was in my updates plugins which is on my normal GTA 5 folder so in this case we want to replace this one make it original again go to mods we go to update and remember they got this where it should be mods update update RPF and there's your RPF you go to 64 levels GTA 5 and there's the one we want to replace we're going to edit so we didn't get that warning there that we were not in the mods folder go over here and click add and which one are we bringing over we're bringing the groups remember if you're not sure always check it because this is really hard to fix as you can see and boom we're done with that so as I always add I click unedit just in case so I don't mess up anything now you see a lot of guys will drag the, this down or something like that I, I don't like that I like to have it because a lot of things can happen you can be dragging it and accidentally dropping one of these folders by accident because your mouse slips or whatever the case may be um, and that can cause you a lot of problems. So I don't like doing the drag. I like clicking, adding, and all keeps it simple. So that right there is a short video of how to fix a mod that is causing you problems back to the original. I hope that helps. Let me know. I'll post another mod about how to put um, different vehicles within your mods folder. Um, in more detail a lot of guys are real fast rushing through it and I'm gonna try to do it slow and detailed for a lot of people I hear that complain that they can't keep up we'll do it one at a time all right hope you enjoy it come back and let us know